the government officials have indicated very clearly in public and private, this rule apply to everyone. Strengthening the control, yeah, I guess part of it is because of the U.S.-China trade war has a, actually surpassed trade level, now it's a, the political level. So that's a part of it. But uh, the good news is that uh, these rules actually added, have added the more protection of uh, privacy, personal information, uh, data protection. That's the good part. The most important part of, of, of affect the, the foreign operations in China may be the uh, cross-border data transfer because the uh, localization uh, requirement, uh, the data based on the cybersecurity law, data uh, collected in China should be installed and remained in China, installed, uh, I mean, to store uh, on the servers located inside of the territory of China. So how to uh, maintain your normal business while still complying with the Chinese rule. So that's the balance the U.S. subsidiaries in China should handle. Every company doing business in China should be watching. Even though the definition of uh, critical inf uh, infrastructure information uh, that, uh, covers only for the infrastructure part, but uh, the rule actually uh, complies to, to the companies in all industries. These are not written very clearly in the rule, but uh, if you talk with the Chinese government officials during the compliance of this rule, um, was the coverage, um, they will tell you, of course, uh, you, you're covered. And also, this direction has been in, uh, indicated in several drafts of the implementation rules and regulations, which haven't been finalized, but uh, uh, have already indicated the direction. And, um, uh, the, the infrastructure, critical information infrastructure, uh, covers the, the in, if it, just uh, read the language, it covers uh, the uh, sectors like uh, uh, public health, or electricity, or water system, or transportation system, or uh, the national information system, uh, or nuclear, uh, uh, telecom, whatever, uh, it, from those are the infrastructure, critical infrastructure information. But uh, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the government officials have uh, indicated very clearly in public and private, this rule apply to everyone, uh, as long as you, you have a network. And uh, I was uh, <laughs> arguing uh, with the one uh, with the, uh, my partners, I mean Chinese partners uh, who read the rule and they say no, it would not uh, apply to ordinary companies. I said apply to everybody, including our law firm. I said law firm. I said yeah, we have a information network, <laughs> the system, and we collect our employees' data, uh, and we have the data of our clients and. Um, it's just like in U.S., a health club, a school, all of them have to comply with the uh, uh, privacy protection and, and rules and regulations, and the same same token, yeah. But this one, uh, initially, the intention this one is for the national security, but uh, like a, a silver lining, the privacy protection, the uh, personal information protection has been written into the rule as a formal law. 
So that's a, that's a provide more protection for personal data. So um, it's a, it's a, from that perspective, it's a, it's a good thing.